All right, recording is up. So all you need, single medicine ball or something to hang on to. Here's the way the rule is going to go. Whatever you're holding, whatever it is, if you have a gallon, a, a, a gallon, a gallon jug of water, whatever it is, something that you can hold that you can move around this entire workout. The entire workout, you cannot put this ball down. If you're taking a break, you're drinking while you're holding it. On the rest times, you're not putting the ball down no matter what. It's in your hands the whole freaking time. Can you hear me? All right. So even, Yeah, we hear you. All right, cool. Even on the warm-up. So if you need to scratch your ass, you're holding the ball while you're scratching your ass. Whatever you have to do, you're never putting this ball down except for the final round later on or whatever it is that we're actually doing a, a round where we're slamming it. So right now, all you're doing is holding it. Every single exercise is going to use this ball. This is all we need. You don't need much space at all. Tons of different movements we're going to do. Hundreds of movements we're going to do with this ball. So we're going to get warmed up with the ball real easy. Just hold it straight down, right, right in front of you, centered. Shoulders back. Slight bend in your elbows. You're just going to bring it up, turn to the side, middle, and down. We're doing this just to warm up. So bring it straight up in front of you. Pivot over, middle, and down. So straight up, pivot, middle, down. We're just loosening up, warm it up. Turn your body to the side. Okay. Where's the sit down? Oh, three. Eight. Oh, oh, reach straight up. Make sure you're pivoting your feet. If you can't see my feet, I'll back up. So you look, I'm turning to the side. Bring it down. Straight up, pivot. Middle, down. We're just loosening up, getting used to this ball being in your hands. Shit, mine's already getting freaking heavy. This is going to suck. This is going to suck. Well, that's what we're here for. So grade A suckery. Hold it straight up. Pivot, middle, down. Done. Let's hold it right here at your shoulders. And we're just going to push it up. This is for shoulder press. Just to get the shoulders moving. That's it. Easy stuff. Warm it up. Elbow straight into your sides. Just pushing it up. Just get all the muscles moving. So our warm up even is going to be with this ball you're never dropping the weight down the entire time good hold it at your chest and let's do the squat oh sorry just keep starting your squat you can't do a squat when you have some weapons on you might stab myself in the head. take all your sharp objects off of you while you're doing the squat down in the hips and heels hold it at your chest straight down into the nose down out to the mouth up breathe it out Control it, full squat, sit back on your hips and heels. So look from the side, butt's going back and sitting way down like you're sitting in a chair. Pamela, see if you can get a little lower, a little lower into it, like you're sitting down into the chair. Half strong, head up, chest out. Breathe it out, into your nose coming down, out through your mouth coming up. Good, right here, go right to a curl. It's gonna be light, it's gonna be easy, but all we're doing is just getting blood flowing through your joints before we get to the real work. This is all just part of the warm-up. So fully extend your arms all the way down. Squeeze it up. Do you copy me, poor boy? Curl it, curl it. Elbow stuck to your sides. Right there. And it's good. Hold it at your chest. Loosen up your hips. It's going to go alternating front kicks. Hold that ball at your chest. Bend and extend. Whip it. Abs are strong the whole time. Boom, boom. Head up, chest out, shoulders back and down. Breathe and boom, boom. Whip it, whip it, whip it. And hold that this chest. We're going to go back to the squat. We're going to add a press into it. So squat to press. Full squat, deep squat, press it up. Just to your chest. Into the nose down. Out the mouth up. Did you just drop your ball? That is against the rules. You that again, you're going to get a hook. Hold on to the ball at all times. There's no one rule. Next thing you drop it, we're all going to pay with like 50 push ups. <laughs> Breathe it up. Shoot it up. Squat to press. So just right here, below your chin, just to here. Look, your elbows in tight. And then push up. So just to here. So don't bring it down to here at the bottom. Just to here, right below your chin. Squat and press. Good, now you're going to curl the press. Combine two of the ones we've done already. Curl the press. So bicep curl, 
shoot it up. Boom. Boom. Abs are strong. Back is straight. Shoot it up there. Pumping it, pumping it. Just getting the blood flowing, just warming up. We're going to go 60 straight minutes with this ball in your hands. And right to a squat to a curl now. Squat to curl. So extend the arms all the way down to the bottom. Squeeze it up, curl. Get the nose down, curl. Squat to curl. Inhale down, exhale up. Pump it. To kind of finish off the warm up, we're going to do some exercise where we're moving around with the ball and different exercise movements just to get used to the different holds that we're going to do. We're just going to walk right now. This is going to be the chest hold. Just walk your back and forth. Find a place to just walk. Right now, holding it at your chest. And we're going to do a few different movements, a few different holds in a second. So right now, you're just walking. We're still just warming up. Just getting your blood flow. Just walking, holding the ball in your chest. Now put it straight overhead and keep walking. Straight overhead, keep walking. Just walking back and forth, the ball straight overhead. Walk, 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 fast walk. Just whatever space you have, just getting the blood flowing, that's it. Arms fully extended up there. Stabilize your shoulders. If you only got a few steps to walk, that's all you need. Just getting yourself moving. All right, hold the ball straight out in front of you while you're walking. A little more challenging, hold it straight out in front the whole time. Straight out in front. All the way out in front of you. Keep rolling straight out in front. Okay. Here we go. Keep rolling straight out in front of you. Still walking. Hold out their arms extended way out in front, straight out in front while you're walking. Straight out in front. All right, now you're pressing it up and down while you're walking. So let's do a press. Up and down. Press up and down while you're walking. Pumping it, pumping it. Still walking, still walking. Just getting the blood flowing, getting the shoulder moving. I think I picked too heavy on the ball, and my shoulders are already fucking fried. This is going to be fun. It's just a warm up. Shoulders are already fried during the warm up. You know, we're going to have some freaking fun. This is what we're here for. All right, and curl. Curl while you're walking. Still walking, now just a curl. Constant movement, just curling while you're walking. Pumping. Oh, you are screwed, boy. You're making the face ready? <laughs> making the little girly mom face ready? You are screwed, boy. Pump it, pump it, pump it. And curl the press while you're walking. Curl the press while you're walking. Abs are strong. We do with one arm over there. Is it squeezing for you? Is that like a Michael Jackson workout or some shit? Pump it, pump it, pump it. Curl the press while you're walking. Curl the press. So curl it, press it, curl it, press it. Boom. Straight overhead. So it's right now just a curl to press right there. Fast, sharp, curl the press. Couple more, couple more. Pumping it, pumping it, keep moving. And time. All right, now we're going to shuffle across the floor. We're going to start picking up the pace. So if you have stuff around the floor, just move that aside so you don't trip. We're going to be shuffling across the floor. So we're going to start back with that first hold, holding it in your chest. We're just shuffling across the floor, fast pace. Go. Hold that in your chest. We're going to hit all those different holds that we just did. You're creeping up behind me, up on my ass. A flashback in here. You stay arms distance at all times. I can't be held responsible for what happens. Pump it, pump it, pump it. Lining across. We're starting to pick up the pace now. We're getting a little more warmed up. Line across. Line your feet. Pumping it. Keep shuffling. And hold it straight overhead and shuffle. Side to side shuffle, hold it straight overhead. Oh, 
Slide across, fast feet. Whipping it across. Abs are strong, supporting that weight. So your lower back's not arching. And good. Now hold straight out in front of you while you're suffering. Straight out in front always sucks. All the way out in front, arms extended. Look, arms extended while you're shuffling. All the way out there. Shuffling all the way out, arms extended, arms extended. Straight out in front. Holding in front of you, straight arms. Just follow what I'm doing. Hold those arms out there if you can. And now pressing up and down while you're shuffling. We're only eight minutes into it. And my arms feel like you're going to fall off, right? That's good. Push it, push it, pump it. I'm just standing pressing while you're shuffling. Keep moving. Find yourself some space. Keep it safe. Keep all that other stuff out of the way. And pressing front and back while you're shuffling. Right here now, front and back while you're shuffling. Front and back, pressing. So press, look, extend forward and back, forward and back while you're shuffling. Fast with your arms. So your arms are going front and back while you're shuffling. Pump, 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 pump. There it is. And time. Shake those arms out. Do not put the ball down. If you're starting to get a little bit warmed up, shake those arms. Stretch those shoulders, rotate them without putting the ball down. Just a couple seconds as we're just getting started. You need to drink something. You're drinking without putting, in, putting the ball down. All right, we're going to go into several different variations of jumping jacks coming up. Still holding our ball. So let's put it on our chest. And start with just a regular jumping jack. Hold that chest right here. Yeah, go. Hold it in there tight. Abs are strong. Make sure this abs stay tight the whole time. Lighting your feet, bouncing your step. And straight up ahead and keep jacking. Go. Straight up ahead and jump. Arms extended, get them way up there, way up there. Straight arms out. Straight them out, all the way up, straight, straight, straight. Straight those arms out. Man, let's try to get those arms a little more straight up there if you can. Don't run them so much here. Way up there, extend. And put them out in front of you. Listen, if you start losing this, then don't try to keep it straight out. If you're losing it, just bring it in halfway. And if the jacks, if you need to, you just modify out to the sides. But we're holding straight out in front of us right now. Go while we're jacking. Holding it straight out front. Arms extended. Five, four, three, two, one. Back into the chest. Now jack, press up. Feet go apart while the ball goes up. Go. Feet go apart, ball goes up. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Now feet go apart while the ball goes forward. Jack, press out. Go, we're going 15. Go, one, two, three, pump it. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Oh, yeah. Put it down. Shake that arm out. Hold it in one hand and shake one arm. Hold it in the other arm. Hold it not down. Shake the other arm. Shake it. Rotate those shoulders around one at a time. Rotate them. Get the blood flowing in there. Rotate them backwards. Loose. Tons to get to. We're barely just getting started. Pumping the whole body up. All right. We're going to go front to back with the feet. Front to back, jacks, 
holding the ball here. So split dash. Peter is going front to back now, right here. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Front to back. Split jack. Holding at your chest. <laughs> Going overhead in five, four, three, two, one. Overhead. Pumping it. Still jacking. Push the pace. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Suck it up. Pull me straight out front for 15. Go, straight out front, 15. Go, front to back, Jacks. Five, four, as tight, three, two, one, time. All right, we're going front to back with the feet, pressing up and down the wall. 15, right here. Oh, right here, pump. Front to back, split jack, press up. With the feet going front to back, push it up. All the way up there, front to back, stride. Look, your feet should be here. One foot forward, one foot back, jump and switch. Jump and switch. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Now front to back jacks, pressing forward. Front to back, Jack. Pressing forward. Going in three, two, one, go. Up, up, front. Front to back of the feet. There it is. There's a stride we need. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Catch your breath, hold it in there, shake it out. We good, our shoulders are good. Hang in there. Yes, no, screw you, screw you something. All right, this is the only time that the ball can sort of be out of your hands because we're gonna do a bunch of different sets of push-ups. So when it's on the floor, you have to still be touching it. So we're gonna start with a set of push-ups with just your right hand on the ball. Now, if you can't do a full push-up, you're going to put your feet wide, and you'll just do a partial push-up. Or just a feet wide and just an inch. We're not going to do them on our knees. It's going to not going to get you stronger. So even if you have to just hold it, but your feet real wide, one hand on the ball and just move a couple inches, you have to get as low as you can and push it up. So let's do it. Right arm on the ball. Push-ups. Just the right arm. I'll switch this. Drive up. Few more. Drive, drive, push it. Two more, two more. Time. Come to your knees, get that ball off the floor in between. That ball doesn't rest on the floor in between. We're going right to another set of push ups. You can kneel back, put the ball on your lap, hold it. We're going to do a set of push ups with your left arm on the ball or with your left hand on the ball. But you need a couple seconds because you won't be able to get any going push up right away. But make sure you're still holding your ball. All right, left hand on the ball. Left hand on the ball, going in three, two, one, go. Push ups, left hand on the ball. Drive it up. Push, drive, into the nose down, out the mouth up. Control it. Push, push, push. You can't put your feet together. Or put them as far apart as you need to. Three more, three more. Push through it. Last one. And onto our feet to get a break from that push up position. We're going to go with a squat thrust, hands on the ball the whole time. So look, I'm going to place it on the floor. I'm going to balance my hands on the ball, jump back, jump in. And it's coming up with me. Let's do it. Squat thrust with the medicine ball. In three, two, one, go. Squat down. Jump back. Jump in. Stand up. Right there. Down. Back. In. And up. Breathe it out. Abs strong the whole way through. 
Push through it. Smooth. Light on your feet. Stand up straight. Control it. Ball comes with you. It comes up every time. Drive it up, stay tall. Four minutes, four minutes. Stand up straight. Squat. Jump back. Jump in. Stand up. Five more. Five more. Work through it. Suck it up. Keep that steady pace. Down, back, in, and up. Down, back, in, and up. One more. And time. All right, we're going back to the push-up position. You're going to try with both hands on the ball. Set of push-ups, both hands on the ball. Again, if you have to, just go as wide as you need to your feet. And the inhale into a few inches, that's fine. Put your feet as close together as you can, but as wide as you need to. Try to go as close, low as some as you can. Go. Both hands on the ball. Drive it, drive it. Three more. Work through it. Whatever you can get. Get low. Get low. Suck it up. One more. Ah, up on your feet. All right, we're going back to that squat thrust. Back to that squat thrust. We're going to do two plank jacks at the bottom of the squat thrust. So you come here, squat down, jump back, two jacks, jump in, stand up. So squat thrust to two plank jacks. Going in three, two, one, go. We're rolling. Rolling. Two jacks, come in, stand up. Ball comes with you, let me see it. Go ahead, keep going, I wanna see it. Squat down, there you go. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Squat thrust to two plank jacks. I'm just standing here so I can see it coming close to the screen so I can see your technique. There you go, and then jump in and up, nice. There it is, squat down. Jump back. If I ever stop, it's just come coming close to the screen to check out the technique. It's also an excuse for me to take a break. But this is just to make sure you are getting it down the right way. Stand up tall. Down. Jump back. Jack. Jack. Jump forward. Squat up. Squat us. So two high plank jacks. Keep rolling, keep rolling. There it is. Oh yeah. One more, one more. And time. That's a breath for a second. Walk it, shake it. Take those arms out. Rotate the wrist in case you're bending the wrist too much. Do not put the ball down. This next round is going to be on your back on the floor. Do not put the ball down. Jesus, big flash. All right, on your back. We're gonna start right here. Knees bent. And we're just pressing, just to get it rolling. Just pressing up and down, easy. Let's go. We started, we started, we did. On your back, quick, 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 press. Breathe it out. Pumping it out, pressing it up. Straighten your right leg out. Now press up to your right leg. Right, right leg is straight, lifting up. Just the right leg. Just the right leg. 
Right leg is straight the whole time. Just the right leg. Just straighten your right leg out. Look, straighten the right leg only. Straight the whole time. Don't bend it. Don't alter your legs. Just the right leg. Straight the whole time. Don't bend it. Look, it comes all the way down straight. In front of you. Straighten the right leg out. Pamela, let's straighten your right leg. Push it. Don't bend it. Don't put your foot on the floor. And switch. Left leg straight. Left leg stays straight the entire time. It doesn't bend. Push it up. Left leg is straight. Completely straight the entire time. Breathe out. Push it. Just the left leg. Boom. Tap the heel to the floor. Bring it right back up. Put the feet on the floor. You can do a straight arm pullover right to here. Tap it to the floor and straight up. Tap to the floor. Straight up. Straight arm pullover. Arms are straight. All the way to the top of the floor. Arms are totally straight. Knees are bent. Feet flat on the floor. All right. Hold it straight up. And go to flutter kicks. Both legs kicking. Hold the ball straight up in the air. Both legs kicking. Flutter kicks. Ball is straight up. Pumping it. 41. Pump. 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 Pump it for five, four, three, two, one. Time. Go back to that press. Back to just the press. That's your recovery. It's freaking easy. But we don't need to stop. Press it. Press it. Now with the press, add in the flutter kick while you're pressing. Go flutter kick while you're pressing up and down. Flutter kicks while you're pressing up and down. Pump, pump, pump. There it is. Five, four, three, two, one. Up on your feet. Do not let go of your ball. Hop up onto your feet. Oh, yeah. We still got a long way to go. That's it, boy. All right, hold that in your chest. We're going to do reverse lunges. Just your right leg is going to be stepping back. So step back with just the right leg only and come up. Just the right leg over and over. Right here, go. Right leg steps back for reverse lunge. Step back. Both knees 90 degrees. Same leg. Right leg. There we go. And switch to the left leg. Hold the ball in your chest. Now the left leg goes back. The other leg. Left leg. Now the left leg. Bridget, left leg. If you didn't switch, looks like that's right leg. It's going to reverse. Then see you switch. Left leg. <laughs> there we go. All right, we're going back to the right leg, but you're holding the ball straight overhead while you're doing the right leg reverse lunge. Right leg lunge, feet step together. Right leg steps back. Hold that ball way up there. Extend the arms. Right leg all the way back. Keep rolling. Abs are strong. Back is straight. Bring the weight down. Just for a second, bring the ball down. Now left leg is going back with the ball overhead. Put the ball right back overhead. And left leg goes back. Left leg steps back. Drive it. Stand up tall. And bring it back to your chest. Just get the shoulders out of the air. You can go back to the right leg. 
As you stand up, you're gonna press up. So right leg, reverse lunge, press up as you come up. Right leg, ball comes down, leg comes down, then shoot it up. Down together, up together. Don't throw it, Just press it. Just drive it up. You need to get your breathing together when you're coming up. Drive it up there, raise your abs. And left leg. Left leg goes back. Press up when you come up. All the way down, both knees to 90 degrees. Drive it up. Control it. Two more. And time. Stretch those legs real quick. Stretch each side while you're holding the ball. Get a quick stretch. A couple times each side. All right, we're going to go slams next. Make sure your ball is a slammable ball and it's not going to bounce and hit you in the face. So if it's a bouncy ball, make sure you're not leaning forward. So test your ball, make sure it's not bouncy. Can't tell if you guys have bouncy ball or not. But we're slamming right here. If you have a bouncy ball and you do this, it's going to bounce up and hit you in the face. So make sure it's not going to hit you in the face. Reach all the way overhead, dropping into a squat and catch it. Go, slams. Yeah, you both have dead weight. Looks like dead weight enough. So then just pop right back into your hands. Smash. Put a freaking hole in the ground. Put your knees to get down there. Ah. Put a hole in the ground. You have any neighbors underneath you? Piss them off. Yeah. Boom. Smash it. Ha. All the way overhead. Drop into that squat. Don't move over at the waist. Drop into a squat. Head is up, chest is out the whole time. Go. Time. All right, we're going to go to a twist slam. Reach all the way overhead, twist, slam. All the way overhead, twist, pivot, and slam. So you're turning your body 180 degrees while you're slamming. Go. Modify it. Modify it. Twist, slam. Twist, boom. Go <laughs> overhead, turn, boom, get low. Bend those knees on that twist and catch it. Get back overhead, all over overhead. Look, he's way overhead. More. And time. Your hands on the ball. Kneeling slams. Go on your knees. Go on kneeling slams. You're going to kneel all the way upright. So extend your hips. Reach all the way overhead. And boom. Smash it hard. Raise those abs. Ah. Bam, bam. Abs are tight. Nice if you have a light ball, you can go fast to pace. Boom. Boom, attack it. Four more. One. Give that, give that dog a medicine ball. One more. One more. Boom. Back 
Back up onto your feet. Oh yeah. Back to the push-up position here. All you're gonna do is roll the ball side to side. Here, rolling it hand to hand and catching it. That's it. Without coming down. Get your hand on top of it and just transferring it side to side. Go. Push up position. Just transferring. Roll it all the way across so the other hand catches it. There it is. Roll it. Let's keep switching sides. A few more. Hold your ground. Hold that position. And back on your feet. Take the ball with you. Going alternating reverse lunges. Start that ball in the starting position at your chest. Alternate reverse lunges. Go. Control down. Keep the nose down. Out of the mouth up. Drive it up. Suck it up. Control that ball. And put it overhead. And keep reverse lunging. Alternating lunges. Both knees come to 90 degrees. Pull this straight out in front of you. And keep alternating reverse lunges. Arms extended. Straight out in front. Alternating legs. And pressing up with the alternating lunges. So every time you come up, push it up. Other leg down, push it up. Other leg, push, control it. Alternating sides. To a press, reverse lunge, to a alternating reverse lunge, to a press up. Four more. One. Two. Three. And four. Recover. Hold that at your side. Shake those arms out. Stretch them. Shake them. Sit order if you need to. Do not put the ball down. Hold it. Walk it off. Great. All right, we are ready. We're going back to our squat thrust. You're going to hit four mountain climbers at the bottom of the squat thrust. So you'll be here, squat down, jump back, one, two, three, four, both feet back, jump forward, stand up. So squat thrust to four mountain climbers. Going in three, two, one, go. Roll it. I have to roll it with my mountain climbers. Stand up straight. Down, jump back. One, two, three, four. Jump forward. Squat all the way up. Keep rolling. I just want to make sure you're doing it right. Keep going. I'm going to check out your technique. One, two, three, four on the mountain climbers. And then stand up. Jump both feet back to start. So look, when you start, jump both feet back and then go to the floor. Take both feet back. Jump forward. Stand up. So jump both feet back to start off. As your squat thrust. Don't just step into that position. Jump back into the position with both feet. And then one, two, three, four. Stand up straight. You can't balance on the ball. Just put your hands to the side of the ball for those four mountain climbers. And then just scoop it up when you come up. Try to balance on the ball if you can. If you can't, you're gonna hold your wrist. 
Put your hands to the side of the wall on the floor. Stand up tall. Down. Back. One, two, three, four. Forward. You have to go back first. Back to the four climbers. So go back. One, two, three, four. Back. Jump. Stand up. Five more. Five. Woo. Oh, yeah. Four, two, three, four. There's one. Keep rolling. Up and down. One, two, three, four. There's two. Ha! One, two, three. Two more. Ah. Last one, last one. Come on, freaks. One more. One more, freak shallows. Ah. Ha! Ha! I forgot I had another sharp object on me. All right, next we're going to a high knee lateral shuffle with all those different holds. So high knee lateral shuffle means you go side to side with high knees. We're gonna start with the first hold, just holding it at your chest. So it's a high knee while you're going side to side. When you get to the end, we come back this way. Just holding it at your chest for now. And then we'll do all those other wacky holds as we're going. Let's do it. Hold that your chest. Palms. Go. High knee lateral shuffle. Across the floor, all the way across. And then all the way back. Those knees up higher. Get them up. And then change the direction. Pump it. Pump it. Oh, yeah. Keep pumping those legs out. Keep pumping them out. Time. All right. High knee lateral shuffle now. Holding the ball straight up overhead. High knee lateral shuffle. Holding straight up. Go. Get those legs up, dog. Parallel to the floor. Abs are strong. Stabilize your shoulders. Get those knees up. Get them up. Get them up. Strong shoulders. Strong core. Pump it. Get those knees up higher. Put yourself. Bury yourself. Suck it up. Time. All right, we're going high knee, lateral shuffle, holding the ball out, holding out. Going three, two, one, go. Hold it straight out in front of you. High knee, lateral shuffle. Pump it. Doesn't get those knees up there. Time. Now high knee lateral shuffle, pressing up and down. Last one for high knees. Not gonna go in and out, just most of us on shoulders. Let's go. Up and down while you're high knee in it. Pumping it. Go. Ha. Get those legs up. High knees. High knees. Burn yourself out. Push the pace. Time and on your back as a fucking gift. <laughs> on your back, you're gonna go hit phrases, holding the ball straight up. Drive your hips up, tap your butt to the floor, drive, tap, drive. Right here. Tap your butt, squeeze your glutes when you push up. All right, add a press into that. So as you push up, press up. Ball comes down, hips come down. Drive them up together, go. Breathe out, drive it up. Pumping it, pumping it. Tap and drive. Those hips up a little higher. 
Squeeze your butt cheeks together. Tap. And hold the top position. Hold. Now alternate knee tucks. Hold the ball up. Hold the hips up. And of course, press. press. Hips up. Ball up. Alternate knee tucks. Four more. One, two, three, four. Up on your feet. On your feet just to reset. You're going to flip over to the push up position. So you're going to do one push up with your right hand on the ball. You're going to roll it across, then a push up with your left hand on the ball. So right here, push. Roll it across to your left hand and push here. Roll it across. Go, push. Try to do it without your knees on the floor. If you come and get partially weight down, it's going to get you stronger. So if you just go a couple inches and come up, roll it across. Do just a few inches and come up. It's going to get you stronger than you can do it on your knees. All the way down as far as you can get. Yeah, yeah, record after we're fucking done. Wide across. Push. Across. Push as low as you can. Even if you come into a partial rep, just go partially way down. It's going to get you a lot stronger than a knee push up. Zip it across. A couple more. Let's go. Two more. Two more. One each side. Suck it up, freaks. Last one. And up on your feet. You're not like going to the wall. Up on your feet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shake it. Recover it. This next set's going to be a long combination and a long round. So stretch those shoulders out. Shake them. Stretch your quads without putting the wall down. Because this next exercise is going to be a combination of a lot of the things that we've done already. So get ready. Shake it, stretch it, hydrate. We're going to a pretty long round coming up. <clears throat> so it's going to be a long chain of exercise. A lot of the things we've already done today. A lot of them chained together. So I'll walk you through the first couple reps. Do it with you step by step. As you get it, you'll go up on your own pace. Or you could just stay with me as I call it out. So let's start. It's going to start with a ball slam to a squat thrust. So let's go piece by piece. I'll walk you through it nice and slow. So reach overhead. Ball slam. Boom. Get your hands on top of the ball. Jump back to the squat thrust. Hit your two push-ups, two plank jacks, four mountain climbers, jump in to two jack press up, to two reverse lunge. Don't worry, I'll walk you through it again. Let's go from the top. I'll go nice and slow with you, piece by piece. Reach up, slam. Squat thrust back, two push-ups, two plank jacks, four mountain climbers, come up, two jack press up, hold that at your chest for one reverse lunge on each side. That's the full rotation. We do this for a couple minutes straight. So get it down. I'm going to walk you through again one more time slow. Then I want you to go on your own pace, your own flow. I'll walk you through it again. Let's go. Reach up. Slam. Jump back. Two push-ups. Two jack. Four mountain climbers. Jump in. Two jack press up. 
Two reverse lunges. One each side. Let's do it. I'm going to keep rolling. You should have it down by now. The exercise we've done throughout this hour. Go on your own pace if you remember it. Slam. Jump back. Two push. Two jack. Four climbers. Two jack press up. Two. Reverse lunge. Keep rolling. We're walking through it again. You know this, go at your own speed, go at your own pace. If you watch the recording here and you have this down, you don't have to stay with me. Go at your own pace. Two pipe jacks, four mountain climbers, jump in, come up. Two jack press up. Two reverse lunge. One each side. Let's do it. You're going to go at your own pace here. I'm just going to fly through this without saying that. I want to see you do it on your own. Focusing in your brain. On your own. Go. I'm not going to pull it. I'm just going to do it. Go at your own speed. Your own pace. You should know the exercise now. Ten. Reverse. Lunge. Time. On your backs. On your backs. Oh yeah. We're just gonna hold the ball at your chest and do just an upper crunch. Upper crunch. Easy. Move just a couple inches. Squeeze your abs. Go. Curl the head and shoulders off the floor. Now hold the ball straight in the air. And you do lower crunches. Just your knees come to your elbows. Tap your heels to the floor. Keep your toes pointed up right here. Lower crunch. Press the lower back to the floor the whole time. So tension stays on your abs. Tension, tension, keep it strong. Five more. Last three, last three. Keep those abs tight. Keep the abs tight. Curl the knees to the elbows. And bring the ball to the chest. So now you're gonna press up while you do that lower crunch. So press up, right there. Drive it, elbows to knees. Right back up, your own pace. Pump it out, breathe it out. Press that lower back to the floor. Tense on your abs, do not let your abs loosen up. When your legs come down, keep them tight. Five more. One, two, two three, three, four, five. Time, and you have my permission to toss the damn ball aside. Get rid of that effing ball. Good job. All right, we're gonna hit some stretches right here on our back. So just toss the ball aside. We're gonna go with some stretches right on your back. Straighten both legs out, totally straight. And I'm off one of the cameras. Let me back up. All right, so legs straight, arms straight, and just a couple of big deep breaths. Loosen up your hips, your shoulders, your neck, your spine. Just flop down to the floor. Loosen up, big deep breaths into your nose, out through your mouth. Now take both hands, hug your right knee to your chest, keeping that left leg straight and loose. Take both hands, hug the right knee to your chest. And it's gonna hold it for about 30 seconds. Keep the left leg totally straight. Straighten the left leg out, be loose. There you go. Big deep breaths. Recovery process starts right away. All right, extend that leg out slowly. Reach overhead. 
Long stretch and reach. Big deep breath. And hug the left knee to the chest. Keeping the right leg straight. Big deep breaths. Control your breathing. Get your heart rate down. Slowly extend the leg out. Reach both arms overhead. Long stretch and reach. Big deep breath. And hug both knees to the chest. Flatten that back to the floor, hugging both knees into the chest. All right, put your feet on the floor, feet flat on the floor, the knees bent. Put your arms straight up to your sides, palms up. Open your chest up. Big deep breath. Take your right hand and pull your left elbow across to stretch your left shoulder. Pull your left arm across, stretching your left shoulder. Big deep breaths. Open it up. Open the chest, big stretch. And hug the right shoulder. Stretch the right shoulder. Pull right arm across. Big deep breaths. Knees out. Go on to your side. Lay on your left side. And we're just going to stretch your right quad. Lay on your left side. So take your right knee, right foot, and just stretch it back. The top leg. The right quad, we're just stretching it out. Laying on your left side. And just stretching the quad. Laying on your side. To the top leg. Slowly extend it out. Don't snap at it. Slowly extend it out. Flip over. Flip over and stretch out the quad. Then the right side, stretch the left quad. Hold that stretch. Big deep breaths. Stretch it. Breathe. Heel to the butt, ease out of it, come up, onto your feet, and we are done. Now listen, the recovery process literally starts right now. You should have your post-workout protein shake, post whatever you have after your workout, you should have it ready to go. If you need help with what you should be having before your workout, we should have an after workout. We could talk on the side about what your nutrition should be before and after. Because listen, the most important meal of your day, they, the bullshit is that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Is that important? Sure. But the most important meal of the day is your post-workout meal. Your second most important meal of the day is your pre-workout meal. And then your third most important then is your breakfast. If that happens to be your pre-workout meal, then it's your pre-workout meal and it's combined. But you need to have already. Like I already have my post-workout drink in a little funnel already so the second i'm done i just put the all those different mixture of all the different powders that i need into my thing shake it up and i'm ready and then i know exactly what i'll be having an hour after that i know exactly what i'll be having two or three hours from there break up your meals five to six small meals every two to three hours that you're awake to keep the metabolism burning all freaking day think of your metabolism like a, a fire burning if you had a fireplace in your house and you took 15 books you threw all 15 books into the fire at the same time they're going to fizzle out in about two hours, and you need to start with a whole other 15 books. But if you have a little fire, and you just throw two to three books into the fire every two to three hours, you have a nice, steady, warm flame burning all day. That's how you want to think about your metabolism, keeping it burning all day. So have your post-workout drink ready right now, or your meal, whatever it's going to be. This is your most important meal of the day is after your workout. So you can start the recovery process, fill in those muscles so they have energy to repair and recover and get stronger, and build up your, your cardio, your conditioning, and your lean muscle. Any questions, anything we need help with? No, thank you. Awesome job. Pamela, are we all good back there? Thumbs up? <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. I thought you all gave right. me the thank finger, you. double middle finger. I was like, I'll take it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys later. If you have any questions, need anything, just send me a message or on the Facebook group or just a text message, whatever it is. 
I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses. Oh, little freak show. I'm sure has something he wants to add in. Hold your ears. No! Very, very normal. <laughs> nice. He gets it from yeah. what a weirdo. What a weirdo. I can't imagine where he gets it from. <laughs> he does goodbye to you. <laughs> Man, well, not your first session. well, not your first session. You've been doing them with us for a while since like Thanksgiving, but first official here on Zoom. So nice work. And we're going to keep kicking freaking ass. I like it. All right. I will talk to you later. Let me know if you need anything. Send me a message. Talk to you later.